I have to make sure I pronounce it right. This is for the Walmart Jadar McKinnon, Walmart CEO. Um, I hear you talk about charities. When I was 14, yeah. When I was 14 and 15 years old. All right, go put it in the refrigerator. Hold on. They don't need to go in the refrigerator. You got to stay in the open. Not going in the refrigerator. All right, Jadar McKinnon. When I was 14, 15, and I worked at Big Lights, I had a chance to be around some great people. Um, we just didn't clean. We did. Um, I, I wasn't cleaning. I was stocking and I was doing, I was working in the furniture. Um, Edwin then was teaching me how to build things how to work on furniture. I had a great time to be at some great leaders. And people don't know that. Um, um, Senator Ted and on it. I was working since I was 14. But it was not just about working for the money. It was more about us learning. And I had that chance to go at 14, 15 years old. We can't do nothing. We can't go outside. Your pad, I'm going to go check up on your pad in a few minutes, okay? All right? I'm um, check on your pad in a few. Um, when I was at Big Lots, I had a chance to work with stockers, all of those things. It was um, it was teaching us how to bend, how to stock, and they kept our, they kept their eyes on us. Edward, everybody at the Big Lots over there, Torres Creek View, like like that, and um, they came to check up on us to see if our work was ready, if it was done. You know, and I had a chance to not be around. And when I was in school, I had the privilege to be a part of something that's greater when I was 14, 15, you know, whatever. Edward and them have always, Big Lots have always played a big part of disability. But one thing Big Lots never did, it never limited them. And, you know, I worked at 16 and I couldn't touch none of the equipment at a certain age. And I used to have my friends coming up in there, Sabina's mom and dad, she's smiling my face, smile while her mama's smiling too, see me on the aisle at 16 and 15. We went to jobs, we went to do a lot of stuff, but we also understand the meaning of the concept of the force of teaching. I went to North Lake, Brookhaven, and I had at this Brookhaven teacher, He's a big guy. He got glasses. I never forget him. Every two semesters, he's sitting by his desk and he pulled his desk up and he worked with me. He never gave up on me. And that's the difference that we, y'all been as in, we have different type of leadership and people got to be willing to work with people. And some people don't want to have time for that, you know, you know, and all of that stuff. But you got to be able to handle those things and understand that moment. People, I'm going to tell you something. 12, 16 just say what they want about me at the end of the day. But we know what it really is. They've been out to do with jealousy and racial behavior. My main goal when I went to the job, my main goal when my um, first, every job that I get, my main thing, the, the technique, let me show you what I can do when I get on that floor. And and, and I say something to, and the same thing I told Charles, I told James. And you know what? I looked James in his eye. And you know, I looked James in his eyes and we had that, that conversation. That's you, but I give you a chance. But we know that was going to come with great challenges. Me doing what I was told caused problems. You know, because everybody, one thing with Ricky, Ricky always told me, and I had a conversation with my department. Um, he's a department manager. You can't expect everybody to go the distance at you. You can't expect everybody to do what they told me, helping out. But the more I'm in there in the deli, it was causing problems. And and Chris said, you still come back to work? Or oh, they don't pay me enough to do this and that. And that caused the conflict. I don't care what write-up y'all say. 
But that's not actually true. That's not actually what was stuck on. Me doing what I was told to do was causing a problem on the clock. One thing when I'm at work, when I worked at Walmart, I always kept a positive, what's wrong? I always kept a positive impact. One of these guys saying um Walmart, he says, he said something about um um what that is. They had to get rid of people. And, and you know what I told him how they um I said they ain't gonna get rid of me. How you think that? I'm there every day. How you gonna get rid of me and I'm working every day? I'm doing my part every day. And that's he got mad at that. No wonder Jessica department manager, he a great um um, meet the partner manager, and he told me something. And I'm gonna tell you, he told me something. He said, "You, um, you're a good guy, but don't let Jessica and them make you promises that they can't keep because they lie. Don't let this businesses make you false promises of just moving on up and learning there." And he said, "You're a good guy." You're still young and you got time. And that's what he told me. And the words that came out of Jessica's mouth said, I'm going to use you. And uh, um, we can use him. And she told me I got to wait three years. Stop, stop. 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 You can't do that. You're going to break the curtain. What's up? You're going to break the curtain. You're going to do these things. Um, I'm going to use you. You got to wait three years. But jealousy was on the clock. Is Xavier man and Jessica Man said if he become manager, I'm quick. Oh, you should I ain't friendly with everybody. The stuff that I have with my customers, I understand my customer spirit. One of the things I understood with my customers, I'm sitting with a customer, and me and this customer, and Jessica got 10 new places. See, you're throwing food. Yeah, if you don't have no more, don't go crying to me. Yeah, you're throwing the stuff. And don't go crying to me because you don't have no. Um, all right, all right, keep playing. Yeah, keep throwing. It. Don't don't complain when you don't have no no, no snacks and stuff because you're throwing it at me. Yeah, put it in your bag. I'm sorry, but one thing I understand: see jealousy. I'm sorry, see jealousy in the spirit. One thing we realize something. One thing we realize something, the Holy Spirit of jealousy, the Holy Spirit of it. But the thing is this. I forgot the conversation how many kids can throw you off a ball. The thing is this. Hubert, turn back on that light. Give me five more minutes, ten more minutes. Turn back on the light. Stop dancing, boy. Turn back on the light. Hubert, turn back on the light, dude. You know what? I gotta use it. Please, please, please. I guess we got Kaja kind of somewhere else. I don't know. Sorry, guys. We're gonna y'all can see my face play, right? Um, <laughs> um laughing. Uh understand these things. We understand everybody come with great challenges, but we talked about it. Let me talk about it. Let me talk about it. Jessica Man. He said, you say I ain't friendly with everybody. And me talking to the customer, that was a problem. And me, and another thing we was doing in, in the Walmart business, another thing we was doing is seven of us in the deli, and I'm talking to this customer. And I tell us, I said out loud, they should because these other employees was acting jealous. Jessica knew an employee was acting jealous. The Spanish guy, and I told his customer, I said I lie, I didn't tell her they should think before they start hiring people. And the customer was like, Oh, you're surely right. But the personality of jealousy was on there. Like I looked straight in that deli at them employees. If I tell them, look at me working in that department, me talking to a customer and talking to that customer and see how Jessica knew an employee was acting and we have to understand is when we are working jealousy is stopping the, the growth of everybody we can get along but everybody trying to step off each other toes for a position or something mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna tell you something. Chris told me something. My God, he said, "What my bad say? What your bad say?" And I wanted to say something because our badge should not define us because we all working for a goal. And if we're talking about challenges and stuff, work with people, watch them. And I had that thing where, what we don't see, big lots have classrooms coming. Why we can't have that in Walmart? Regular kids, everybody have classroom coming and you showing them how to do stuff. These are our kids for the future. Fourteen to fifteen years old, I was cashing my check. I went to a twenty-four hour play. My mom showed me one time how to write your name on the back of the check and show your school ID. So understanding working with your your, 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 your your people that have challenging problems and checking up on them and make sure they do it right is very important. But one thing I didn't like about, and I'm going to tell you just a problem, one thing I didn't like about what was going on with Chris, the department manager, um, we doing inventory. And he's right there in there showing me. I watch him. I watch him do it. And then he watched me. And then the merchandise didn't get in that all the way. And it, it was something was right. Instead of then, instead of then, let's work on it. He want to give up on the first try. Or I'm going to look at me. You can't do that. That's not your say to do those things. And, and that's not your say. You just can't give up on somebody. You in it for the money. You ain't in it for the leadership. You in the, and that's the conflict. I said, you trying to give up on me. You watching me do stuff. Let's figure out why the merchandise are not getting in the system. Like it's, just don't give up on somebody when I'm watching you. I'm standing by the deli and I'm I'm standing by the um thing department over there and I'm watching you and then you watch me. Let's see what we are doing wrong here. And that's what I wanted out of him. Not just give up on me, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's the problem I had with him. And then Jessica had to step in and guide everybody while he sit up there and think about himself. That's not why we're in the position that we are in that for. I'm going to tell you one thing, because we're going to talk about this. When Jessica was looking at me in the spirit, and I looked at her in the spirit, and I wanted her to hear me, what I said, because I know she was talking to somebody in poetry. And then she did exactly what I wanted you to do. And I threatened to sue them. And I said, if you ain't going to teach me, I'm going to leave and sue you. So Jessica looked at me with a man. I mean, I know she was talking on the phone with somebody at point. And who was that that she was talking to? That's what I want to know. Which one of you that y'all was talking to in the corporate office? See, things are are coming to light more than they expected. Who she was talking to on that phone when I made threats to leave and sue for not teaching me. So the thing is, at 2996, who, the thing is, would I ever know who she was talking to on that phone? She looked, Jessica looked me right in my spirit. And I looked her right in her spirit. But understand the two sides of this guy. You know, I'm going to tell you something. What did happen? James. James, after we, he wrote, he was, I I studied him. One day after I write a document, he's writing in there. And I, he's not just writing about my situation and this and that. He's writing how I write, how I do things. He's, he's writing on the computer and everything about certain things I do. So I passed the room every five minutes after that meet, after I had to write a document. I'm going to study you, James. 
I'm going to study everything about you. So I kept walking to, he had the door open and he's on his computer like this. So I kept walking back and forth and studying his mindset and I observing what he was writing about me on that computer to the corporate office. So me understanding the same day he wrote it, I'm analyzing. And it wasn't just about my point of views and my situation. My handwriting was involved. Everything else was involved in that situation. The way I worked, every technique was involved in that situation. So I had to, hmm, James, after that meeting was over and I had to think to myself, hmm, he's not just writing what I wrote down on the paper. It's more how I work and how I operate him reporting to corporate office. So me understanding this, I was analyzing, um, James don't even know it, that after that meeting, and I, I kept walking back and forth, analyzing his mindset and seeing the way he works. And he write about me. And I just said, intelligent, you're a very intelligent human being. But you was very business, a. Hey, So that is the truth about the situation. So I was analyzing. I was studying James the whole time. James don't even know it. After that meeting over, he don't even know his mindset was being studied. His mindset was being very studied. I was analyzing it. And then June pulled me in the Chinese. I said, hold up. We're going to play a little dumb my fast. And he was racial profiling the situation. Um, um, the Chinese manager. I said, yeah, y'all got some damn problems. And I sit up there and analyze them. See, you, you're trying to go against somebody, and I was studying you and observing you the whole time. I was studying you the whole James don't even know that I was studying him after that meeting was over. I kept passing that room about five times, looking at his mindset, studying him the whole time, typing in his computer after we had that meeting. Boy, I tell you, the humans. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell them. When I worked at Big Lots, they didn't watch over us. They checked up on us. We worked in three in a group with challenges. We forward clothes. We make sure the clothes are straight on the hand. There's so many things that Walmart employees can do. Um, One person can answer the calls. The other people that can go around, kids with disability, go around putting the clothes on the hand making sure the merchandise on the clothes get back with the tags and everything. What? What you want? What you want? What do you want? You got to tell me what you want. I can't just say what you want. Stop. You got to use the bathroom? Do not. Stop putting your hip on and tell me what you want. Somebody knocking on the door? No, it's tough. Come on. I, nobody can stay silent, bro. You lost them. You telling me to go out there? You're wrong. Ah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, nobody understands. But put in mind, say, check your nigga be putting the clothes back on the hand, talking to your co workers, getting a tag, and putting it back in that section. It's so many things. It's y'all ready to be leaders. Because we can have leaders, not just manager, regular employees. Everybody can be signed to a thing. Hold up. Let me show you how to do this. Have a tag on the floor. They're going to go in that closed setting. 
and get that price back on that tag and talk to some and put those clothes back on the thing. Half of the time, Walmart phones don't be answered in the clothes section. That's why you need extra help. Oh, I want to get a disadvantaged person. I need you to help me. A lady in the clothes department can have a little person work for her. I need you to put these clothes on the hanger. Listen to what I see. Learn how to guide. This don't be an employee. Let me tell you, as a regular employee, you got something to do. Your, your part, you, you have leadership. You might not have a manager position, but your leadership matters more, too. And people got to start recognizing it. And that's why when you guide people, you will be reward, rewarded with other leadership rewards. But some people got to be willing to guide. There's so many things these kids, the people, this is, but that's not the problem. There's so many things that they can be doing. We all have challenging problems, but we need to understand those challenging problems. So I understand that I listened to her when she got to say, but me just being a part of Big Life since I was 14 and 15 and being part of Edward and them. First, I didn't have a job. I just worked at school. And Edward and them, and they wanted to put me in to Hubert. Come on, we want you here. You know, my first thing after that, me and them, we sat and we interviewed afterwards. And we and I was still going to school. I was still working and still going to them and working them through school time. You know, and that's the thing with that. We need to let our kids do more things and stuff. And I'm glad I let these kids come to these schools. Come to these Walmarts. Show them around in the store. They can have a group of kids coming from each school and managers can lead them. Come on, we can our store manager say, we are about to show you our day-to-day -day operation. Let's just stop showing it on the TV and show them how we do things. Create a background or how we get merchandise, 14 and 13 years old, merchandise out of the truck. Ever showed me how to use a bell, but I still can test that machine until I turn 18 at the clock. You are not allowed to touch none of the machine until you're 18, right? You know, I understand something with my baby mom. We own two different paths. And I understand in order to make change, we can't we can't be together. So that's just the same thing. They detect our kind. They detect God children. You know, I feel like Lorraine and Squad up, they detect our kind. And I want to tell the screen, man, I don't have to be with y'all to make a song. This is for them. I can be in my house to me, send music. And that's on you. If you're going to do some foul shit, we're not going to make music together. That's just the way it is. The video, we can... We, we just want, yeah, we just not going to be able to, yeah, what's up, no, you talk to me, what you want, no, we just not going to be making music together, or doing any of those things, we can make music, but video is not going to be done, you know, you talking that, that stuff, video is not going to be done, music going to be done, and you, you, you're not going to have a video for the concept for it, so you, you, you have to come right, correct, when we're doing things, you have to come correct with it. But, you know, I can be at my house. I don't have to actually be, I don't have to actually be with you at that, you know. I can do music at my house. You think I have to be in the studio with you? People do music. Kevin Gates was just talking about, oh, send me a, oh, I don't have to be with you. And if you don't come correct, that's your problem. Now, God said, you know, remember this.
राशि आलोक 